Jake, what is your juice? My juice is an ocean spray cran grape. Jake, what is your juice? My juice is some Mio crap from Walgreens because I'm doing that no carb thing. Yes. Joel, what is your juice? Keto life. My juice is tart cherry stomp apple and cherry juice cold press. Jake, what is your pack? All right, so my pack is kind of spicy. <laughs> it's it's a kaleidoscope oh killer <laughs> secret layer drop series. We're going to see what planeswalker we pull in this thing. Jake, what is your pack? My pack is Modern Masters 2017. We're going for Fetchlands, Tarmogoy. We're going for Liliana. We're going Guys. for Seance for the big losses. Joel, what is your pack? What are y'all doing to me? Throne of Eldraine, Ooh. come on. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Right. Are you on hard times? Do you need some help? No, Juice and <laughs> Pack starts right now. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. I'm Jake. I'm Joel. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel Juice and Packs. We have got a very special guest with us this evening. Jake Boss of MTG Tonight, former broadcast editor. He's worked with everybody under the MTG sun, including the professor currently working for the Command Zone. Jake Boss, hello and welcome to the day. What up, fellas? I'm excited to be here. We Honored to have it. you. Honored to have you. Absolutely appreciate it. Before we get started, if this is your first episode of Jake and Joel or Magic that you are ever watching, and you want to stay up to the minute with the latest decks and strategy for Pioneer, Commander, Historic, Standard, Brawl, you want to talk MTG Finance, News and Specs, or you just want to see us open some boost to packs, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And review before. juice. And review juice. Sorry, I always forget about the juice reviews. We are partially a juice review juice channel. Juice and pack. Now. Make sure you hit that subscribe button button before you leave mr jake boss we are through all of the opening memes and we can get into the juice of the episode if you will it has become tradition now with our second episode it's a two episode long tradition that our guest gets to pick the order normally we all drink our juices review our juices and then we get into our packs when we go back around the circle a la a draft who would you like to go first tonight uh, well, to make me go last, I'm going to make you go first tonight. Absolutely. I will get it going first. Mr. Jake of Jake and Joel will follow me up, and then we will let, let, let you show us what spice you pull. What I've got here is a tart cherry stomp cold press. It is from a grocery store called Wegmans. All right, let me tell you about Wegmans after I tell you about this juice. 180 calories, 12 ounces. Um, 36 grams of sugar. It is a cold pressed juice though, made in small batches as you saw. And so I'm hoping that it is going to be good. It should be a little sour with that tart cherry. I chose it because it's got that word stomp in it. And one of my favorite cards of recent memory is that giant that has a shock built into it. And that side of the spell is called stomp. So Wegmans, so while Joel tastes his juice, let's talk really quick about what Juice and Packs is. If this is the first episode of Jake and Joel that you've ever seen, you may be like, what are these guys doing? Why are they drinking juice? What does this mean? It's all about the ritual. It comes down to a, an old college tradition of going out late at night to buy a pack of cards, but what could you do in order to make the rare good? And so we decided that it would be about going out to get juice. So it's whatever needs to happen in order for the rare to be good, in order for you to make your money back on that pack. That's uh, that's what Juice and Packs is. So Juice and Packs isn't just juice. Juice and Packs could be putting the pack under your bed. Juice and Packs could be, I don't know, shipping the card back east and then having them ship it back to you. We went to a mall one time and Jake put his pack in the water fountain before he opened it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's juice and packs. Okay, so mine is very good. It is very tart. It lives up to its name. It's from a grocery store chain out in the uh, out on the East Coast called Wegmans, and Wegmans is a huge ordeal. It's a it's a crazy store. It's like the Disneyland of grocery stores. They've got everything, absolutely anything. Cold bar, restaurant built in. It's crazy. Apparently, a stomp is a rich nectar style blend of premium fruits. If you were wondering. And the ingredients, my favorite part of this, ingredients are apples and tart cherry juice. That's it. So overall, I would rate this very healthy from a sugary juice standpoint. Um, it does 
feel like it's going to give me heartburn, but <laughs> I'm starting to realize that I say that on every episode, and maybe I should... I think you, you just have heartburn. I should look inward on that yeah. one instead of heartburn. I think it's a you problem. It's <laughs> not a it's juice part problem. Of you. It's part of you. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. I think, I think I'm going to drink this all the way down to the bottom before I open my pack. So, Jack, uh, Jake, you can go ahead and get your, uh, get your juice going. All right, here we go. It's Ocean Spray Cran Grape. Spoiler alert, I'm going to be drinking just a little bit of this. Uh, it's got 200 cals, short for calories. Got some some sodiums, some potass, which is short for potassium. 45 mg's. Total carbohydrates, 53 g's. You're going a lot of g's with this juice. Uh, no, there's 190% vitamin C, which is good. So if you feel like maybe you went out, you did something that compromised your immune system, you don't have an emergency at the house, I could see chugging this. So we'll go ahead and crack it open. I have a pretty good idea of what this is going to taste like. <laughs> Once you've done enough juice and packs, it's like you kind of just go and you're like, is it a juice that I've had before? <laughs> Let's just buy Becomes this old juice. hat. Mr. Boss, do you open a lot of physical product? Do you play Magic mostly online or in paper? Uh, I mean, I also have all the secret layers in my bag today, so I'm what? actually opening a lot of uh, product today. Um, but, I mean, I swore off of it for a long time. I used to get like a fat pack for every set or whatever. Sure. But when I was moving, I decided to just destroy all my fat pack boxes, which were the thing that I was collecting. And now it's hard to like justify buying sealed stuff that you're not going to draft. Right. But was luckily, it just about? I, was it just about severing that that need to have all those boxes? Was it just like, yeah, you just it, didn't want them in your possession anymore? Done seeing them. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, when we moved to California, it was like we didn't know how big our place was going to be, uh, so we needed to just downsize as much as possible, and whatever I could fit in my car uh, was what we got to have. Uh, so there was no excuse to have a bunch of magic cards or magic card boxes or anything anymore. Right. Uh, and so that's totally changed my perspective. The oh my Ikea Calyx. <laughs> you can't move to, to California with that. <laughs> you're no. going to have to get rid of some of that stuff. You're going to throw it in the garbage. You're going to take it to the Boys and Girls Club. <laughs> Precisely. Yeah, yeah, I've been trying to downsize my commons and uncommons forever. I'm just like, why do I have these? I oh, want to. I want to give them to the school. <laughs> I want to give them you. to kids. I just want somebody to be able to have them. That's the Boys and Girls Club for that's, sure. That's yeah, the next yeah. big step for me, man. I just went through my entire collection, pulled out the most expensive stuff. You know, keep pile, sell pile, and now I've got a bunch of commons and a bunch of bulk rares, and I'm like. Uh, what do I do with this? I like the Boys and Girls Club idea. That's a very, very good idea. Yeah. Uh, what I did was I consolidated everything to two gift boxes because, you know, I, I don't want more than that on hand if I'm right. uh, trying to build a deck. I don't want to look through more than that amount of cards. Exactly. And I only kept cards that I'm going to play. So. And then you order, you order like, you need some commons or uncommons right. that come out. You just... You're gonna That's all I want. Or this is all I yeah. want. I want my commander decks, some you know, some extra sleeves down here for limited, and then your accessories. This I want. Exactly. If I could consolidate down to this and like a you know, sentimental rares and cards notebook with that you know with slide holders, that would be like oh my god. I've, I've also got this uh, uh, plan for my life where every magic card that I buy, for the most part, I keep forever. Uh, because then I'm not concerned about, you know, Value whatever it is. I'm just buying into the market, and that's right. what I paid for it. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Jake, what would you rate your juice, by the way, before we move to Mr. Boss? All right. It tastes a lot like medicine. I'm going to give it like a four, <laughs> a four out of ten. I would drink it if I was really thirsty and I was uh, stuck on that rock like Aaron Ralston in 127 hours. Okay. I would drink the whole thing and I would enjoy it. Right. But um, you should probably other than like that. Like, sip it if you're in that situation, not chug. Well, it, it depends on how long I've been on the rock. In yeah. the beginning, when I'm really scared, I would probably chug it. And then by the end, I'd be like, wow, I'm really stuck. I should have been sipping. Now I have What's to pee down into flow, this ravine. <laughs> so if it's increasing, uh, you know, your cardiovascular system or whatever, I feel like that's not what you want when you're Aaron Ralston. I don't want my blood going anywhere because it's going to yeah, leave out not. the damn rock. No, you're right. And so it would be torturous to have this really <laughs> sugary thing when all yeah. I want it to be is water. 
be like, just give me water. I want to clog these arteries up with a package full of bacon or something. Uh, I, I need to cause a problem if I'm going to live. Honestly, if that's the takeaway that anybody walks away from this with is that you should hike with a big pack of bacon just in case. <laughs> Emergency bacon. That is like right, that's a good, the that's most a good, chubby person thing I've ever heard. Don't right, don't t Mr. don't say Jake that. Boss, get into your juice. Get into Tell your juice. You. Okay, so my juice is uh, Mio Energy. It comes in a black container, which is on my desk at work. It, it has zero calories. Like and the a little bunch squeeze thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, it it's it's got a zero calories, a bunch of things that you don't uh, know how to pronounce, so you should not be consuming this. I'm sure there's like taurine and shit in this as well, which you should not use uh, to keep yourself awake. You should use black coffee, which I'm not doing. Um, but yeah, it tastes like crap. It's tropical fusion. Let's pop the top and uh, give it a go. See this? This is the exact kind of thing that you want to drink before you open a pack. Yeah, it, it it is it is like you have to earn it. it, and I hate to reference another movie again, but it's like at the end of Saving Private Ryan when Tom Hanks looks at Matt Damon and he says, "Earn this, earn it." I've, I've only seen like the first fifteen minutes of that movie when the dude's face is blown off. Oh, Woo. Was, you saw an intense part. Out. Not the most intense part. There is a fight over a dagger that really makes my skin crawl every single time but yeah it's an intense movie what'd you think of your juice yeah how was it was it it was everything i thought it expected it to be okay uh, <laughs> all right I, I definitely you've had it before to, yeah you're revisiting it okay. and so i have really intense adhd and uh the stimulants uh keep me grounded and sitting in my chair at work <laughs> yeah so i can get through the day so trying to switch over to black coffee now uh but when somebody says that they're trying to do something that means that they wish they were a person who did a thing but they don't do it uh so <laughs> i wish i was a person who could live off of black coffee but i don't wake up early enough to make it for myself or go out and get it so i'm going to change my life a little bit uh, a little bit at make a time. myself a better person by the next time I we have, talk that's I have absolutely a pull -up right bar that normally is is right up there <laughs> and sometimes i i just hang on it i just i like how often, I, I'm how often doing is your pull-up bar like, I, I'm like, like hey, I'm trying to work on my pull-ups. And how I, often, I just angry. how often is it a coat rack? And be honest. <laughs> it is it. There are many a towel that get dried on it. There and you I go. Will, I will group that in the exact same thing. Best towel, towel rack bar. in the world. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the door hanger chin up thing. All right, oh, yeah. fellas, here, give me a little give me a little tap with our juice before we go into the packs part of our juice and packs. There we go. Cheers. One final sip. <laughs> All right. All right. I am going to go with my very basic, informal, current standard set, Throne of Eldraine. Little look behind the curtain. We are filming this on the day where Oko just got banned in Pioneer. How many more formats are there for him to get banned in? I don't know. Just modern now? Historic. He's suspended, Vintage. I think. It's it legal and legacy? Yeah, I guess modern and legacy. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do this, Jake. We're going, we're going you style on this one. Let me do get it. a little shot going here, and here we go. Embereth Paladin, Fierce Witch Stalka, Forever Young, Barge In, Outflank, Outflank. Memory Theft, Lakthwain Gargoyle, Twin Veil Tree Folk, Mantle of Tides. Fairy Godmother. Okay, Guide. Godmother. Sorry, not Godmother. All right, here we go. Uncommons. Venerable Knight. Everyone's Which favorite. Pesky cat. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. The cat came back. <laughs> it's an Arcanist Owl, and our rare is... Giant Killer! Mr. Jack and the Beanstalk himself. Giant Killer. And we've got a forest with Stonehenge. Ooh, very and nice. an ad. No table required for MTG Arena. All right, I didn't get an Oko, but I did get a Jack and the Beanstalk, which is pretty dope. All right, so uh, Jake Boss, you're gonna be, you're gonna be going last, right? So I'm going next. You go next. It's all you. Let it rip. All right. So you said earlier today you opened some secret layers. Yes, I did. Did you get any notable planeswalkers? What did you get in your? Did you open Kaleidoscope like Killers? 
I got uh, Ral and my Kaleidoscope Killers. I didn't get any of the major hits, but I uh, found out I was getting them before uh, I knew that there were Planeswalkers in them. So yeah. they're all gravy anyway. Yep, exactly. Okay. And that's kind of been, that's been one of the sub themes to our videos. You know, I think we've shot like four or five videos on secret layers now. We're not planning to do that because we were just like, eh, it looks like they're getting into the secondary market directly. That's cool. Move yeah. on. And then they were like, oh, by the way, secret stuff in them and suddenly becomes a loot box and it's from an NTG finance standpoint. And then we were like, all right, let's cover this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, yeah. So Joel just said it. It is a loot box. Uh, at first, we didn't think it was a loot box, but... There is a pool of uh, seven different Planeswalkers that come in Kaleidoscope Killers. Um, the two most notable are Tefri Time Reveler and Nicobolus Dragon God. Uh, Jake Boss pulled pulled Ral, I think also Soren, Domri. Um, there's a couple others. How do I even open this? Having, item, a, little, uh, having a little bit of trouble. Oh, here it is. Here it Can't is. Can't find the key to the secret lair. All right, so we know about this. This Rita is supposed King. to be there. Let's go ahead and get this out. Yeah, it's like glued in there on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so here these are. We know about Reaper King. We won't we won't look at these. This is why we're doing this on Juice and Packs because this is random. There's our card. Jake, it's, it's upside a secret down. Card. Jake, there's, there's a secret card. There's a secret card in the bottom of your secret All right, box. Before before I do this, I have to Hold this up. I need to unscrew the cap of the juice with my left hand. <laughs> we need to take a sip. <laughs> mm. We need to put it down. Still holding. We're screwing this on with one hand. Oh, it's it's tilted. We got to do it without spilling on the keyboard. We're going to set it down to be safe. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. Here it is. What is our card? Oh, it came right out. We're going to show it to the camera first. I have not seen it. It is a Soren. Vengeful Blood Lord. It is a Soren. It is not a Tefri. That art, though, with the stained glass, that looks so dope. It Soren really will play for sure. Yeah, like, it, it really is cool. If you don't have a deck or an EDH deck for that, that is auto include in your cube. Yeah, yeah. It's, it is really neat. Really neat card. I'm not I'm not really disappointed. Tefri would be cool. Uh, Bolus would be cool. But honestly, it's a, it's a product. I knew what I was getting in it. I'm right. happy to get this really exactly cool playing right. So, uh, All right. That's it. Thank you, Ocean Spray Cran Grape. Jake Boss. All right. This is one of my favorite sets of all time. I wish I was a better player when it came out. Uh, I'm hoping for some juicy pulls. I'll, you know, dip it in the thing a little bit. There we go. Uh, now we're getting serious. There we go. Found some juice. Alrighty. I remember when drafts for this were like 40 bucks for an on-demand draft Ridiculous. at GP Vegas 17. Right. Like, I drafted this so much, but I, I just did it so poorly the whole time. And like one time I opened a Cyclonic Rift in this and, uh, I was like, oh man, kind of a bum rare. It's five dollars. <laughs> the same with Crater Hoof. It was like a ten dollar rare time. But now it's like, dude, how many of those can I get for myself? Like, right. okay, so, dude, Crater Hoof, right? I remember opening that and just being like, womp womp, what a bad mythic. And now, yeah, I wish I'd just only opened Crater Hoofs. That that'd be fine. So, I had planned on uh, pulling a bunch of fetch lands out of my decks and just doing a stack of 15 fetch lands and pulling it off camera and be like, oh, let's see what we get. Uh, <laughs> but, Whoa, uh, it's an no for that. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, an evolving wild, a temporary expanse, a floodplain, a flood strand. <laughs> Holy shit, this is a great back. All right. So we were hoping for fetch lands Liliana, Tyron McGoyf, uh, Crater Hoof, Cyclonic Rift. All right. So it's Lesnia Guildgate, Magma Jet, Sylvan Ranger, not bad for Commander, uh, Grixis Slave Driver, it was a Seagate Oracle. Oh man, this is a nostalgia pack. I'm loving God. this. This is hitting me right now. Golgari Guildgate. Right in I the like nostalgia. that the cards are like smacking wherever you put them. <laughs> I'm, I'm, well, I'm drawing these fuckers. Uh, if you're not a fetch land, <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Uh, Lone Missionary. 
Crippling chill. Are we in the uncommons yet? I completely you lost track. How yes. do you do this? This is your okay. first one. Oh, Mike practice. of old Crosa. <laughs> we are old hat at the Church of Juice and Pegs. Soul Ransom. Here we go. What does it say? Vithian Stinger? All right. Let's look at the bottom rare. here. It's a rare. What does it say on the bottom? It's rare. 35. Oh, it's, it's 35. Blue. It's Seance. It must be because it's white. Is it's it 35. white? Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh. Yes, dude! Yes. You just talked about it! Oh, oh that is God. beautiful! That is worth the price it. I paid! Okay. And our foil. Oh. And a risk cares? Attack. Doesn't matter, dude. you got the rip. Yes! That is, I'm so glad I opened this with you guys. Juice! Yes, man. <laughs> the story, juice! The first, the first Here, iconic rip that I opened, uh, I, I'd sent it, I signed it and gave it to the professor on my show. Uh, as like a you know now here's your sign card from me mm -hmm. that is so funny man, the power of the juice awesome. is real the power of the, the power juice of is the real juice, oh, the that was a sweet pupper juice. we saw him for a second you gotta introduce us now what's that we saw the sweet pupper we need to be introduced now this is charlie tillicum bones charlie um, he is half white dog half black dog with <laughs> some brown in there sweet okay. charlie yeah, he's my favorite breed. Charlie's bored. I never let him lick my face, and he knows <laughs> he's gonna get in trouble if he does. <laughs> yeah, See our dogs are the same way. And get sly. I like how he looked at the. He just looked at the camera for a second. He's like, "Oh, I see." That was that fun. was very the office of him. Look right at the camera and be yeah. like, "I don't lick his face. I don't yeah. lick the face." Mr. Jake Boss, can't thank you enough for sharing your first juice and packs experience with us. We loved having you. This this was amazing, you guys. I'm so glad it worked out like this. I've been staring at this pack for a week, and uh, definitely that's, turned out great. That's you part of your marinate. ritual. You let it you marinate. Let it marinate. Oh, dude, that's <laughs> marination. Letting it marinate is a very real thing. Ask Jake. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let it marinate, baby. You gotta let it marinate. <laughs> Super real. All right. Well, I'm glad we did this together. Absolutely, oh, dude. It, it's awesome such a pleasure, man. Sometime soon. Make sure, everybody watching, make sure that you check out Mr. Jake Boss's channel. Where, where can they find you on YouTube? So, uh, obviously, I do some work uh, for the Command Zone. You know, uh, I got a writing credit uh, in their holiday intro, their little... Uh, it was, you know, this whole fun little winter thing with some visual effects and That's some really awesome. cool stuff. Uh, yeah, they really let me run with that one, and we had a lot of fun. Um, so there's that obviously I'm editor on their channel uh, but my main squeeze is MTG tonight that's the current name of the YouTube channel I might be rebranding to Jake Boss MTV MTG uh, which is my handle on Twitter if you want to find me there uh, but yeah I'm releasing one final episode of MTG tonight that I recorded uh, like eight months ago before I started with uh, the command zone and I just have never found time to do it but That'll be out in a couple of weeks, and then from there, I'm doing all kinds of uh, fun comedy videos uh, related to magic. So, I'm excited to get back into it. That's awesome. Very cool. Make sure you go find that YouTube channel, uh, MTG, MTG tonight. tonight, and go give a go give it a sub. We appreciate it. Like we said, if you like our stuff, make sure you go check out some other videos where we talk about magic stuff and not about juice reviews. And think about subscribing before you go. If you want to hang out with us, we're streaming on Twitch most Tuesday and Thursday evenings. Go find us over there. If you want to support us further, we got a Patreon down in the link below. Jake Boss, we always end these by going, I'm tapped out. You got anything else? Uh, I got nothing else. So wait, do we do it all together? Oh, however you want to do it. We can we can all salute and say tapped out at the same time. Sure, let's do that. One, two, three, tapped out. Tapped out. <laughs> nice, it was tapped. Oh, it was perfect synchronization. We'll catch y'all later. <laughs>